what I'm trying to do is give people you know, news they can use. I want to give them an understanding of this process and how this reality works because it affects them and their life. And that's the point of writing the books, is to be helpful and be valuable to people. Now, you know, the more people the better, right? I mean, you, if you can help one person, that's good. You know, if you can hurt, or if you can hurt, you can help <laughs> two, that's better. If you can help thousands or hundreds of thousands, that's even better yet. So yes, I would like for that to happen. You know, um, I think eventually, because this is better science, it will probably eventually become accepted. I mean, this is this is real science. You know, it's got real, real uh, uh, experiments that, that kind of back it up. Gen the digital physics movement is gaining ground in the physics community because, like Whitworth said, it's better physics and answers the question. So yeah, I think it's headed that direction. Eventually, I think one day. Now whether that's you know, three years, three decades, you know, next millennium, you know, I don't know. But one day, I think that it will be a common understanding. And when that is, let's hope that people take it to heart, that they have a purpose here, and that, you know, moving toward love is, is important. And that, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of personal significance and responsibility that my big toe points out. It doesn't have to be my big toe. It's just the concepts, you know, whether it's that or some other way, but it's, I think that the concepts will eventually win out, whether it has anything to do with what I wrote or not, I don't know, but because the, you know, the, the fundamental fact there is that the truth is not fragile.